banana slug. Ooh, ah. All right, kiddos, take a close look. What do you notice about this here banana slug? Tell me three things that you notice about this here banana slug. <clears throat> so, banana slugs. This part on them, I don't know if you can see how it's a different texture. Oh, I'm sorry, bubs. Banana slugs have three parts. This right here is their mantle. This long part is their foot. And up there you can see some of its antennae. Antennae? Antennas. What's the plural of antennae? Okay, and up here you can see its antenna. Oh, you can see it's poking them back. So the top two antenna up there are its primitive eyes. Primitive eyes can see light and motion. And then down below those other two antenna are its feelers and its smellers. So those can smell the things around it as well as feel things. So you can see it's sensing out its path using the two different sets of antenna right now. All right, so you might notice right here, there is a large hole on the side of the banana slug's mantle, and that is the all-purpose hole. So that's where the banana slug poops out of, that's where it breathes out of, and that's also where it mates. <clears throat> okay, if you had to use one word to describe the texture of this banana slug, what would you use? I, for one, would call it slimy. The slime is actually super important for the banana slug because it helps lubricate its path along the forest floor. So you can see how it's sliding along right now. And it's able to do that because of the slime it's releasing. The slime is also a snack for the banana slugs. That's right. This banana slug, if it was to loop back to its own slime trail, could gobble it up as a little snack. And so could other banana slugs. So banana slugs are what we call hermaphroditic, which means they have both male and female parts, which means that any banana slug is able to mate with any other banana slug to produce offspring. All right, so banana slugs are part of our famous group, the FBI. The FBI stands for fungus, bacteria, and invertebrates. And the banana slugs are invertebrates, which means they have no backbone. The really important function of the FBI in the forest, and so the banana slugs as well, is that they are decomposers and they break things down. They break dead things like all this duff down back into the soil so that all the nutrients can then be used so that other new plants and things can grow. All right, so I just grabbed this off the forest floor. What does this remind you of? Hint, reminds you of that banana slug. Why do you think that a banana slug might want to look like this leaf? To camouflage itself. That's right. So the banana slugs want to be able to blend into their surroundings so that nothing can find them and eat them or kill them. And so if it looks like one of these leaves, other predators might think that, oh, it's just a leaf and leave it alone. And one really cool thing about these leaves is if you rip it and smell it, it smells pretty fantastic. And that's because this is a bay laurel leaf. And bay leaves are sometimes used in different cuisines to give it the aroma and the flavor.